junior in the mass communications department here at Claflin University, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my school. Claflin University was founded in 1869 and is located in Orangeburg, South Carolina. One interesting thing about Claflin University is that it was named the 2015 HBCU of the Year by HBCU Digest. And now, for some fun facts about everybody's favorite HBCU, GAMU. Co-creator and executive producer Felicia Henderson is taking you behind the scenes with the Quad's Office Hours next. I am sitting with a very glamorous <laughs> glam squad. I'm very, very excited. And we just watched episode 202, The Interruption of Everything. And this episode, I thought, is the best episode to talk to you guys because in this episode, um, several of our characters have to look sick. So, you know, let's start with you, Carol, talking about how do you make people look sick? Well, you know, it's interesting because a lot of the times when people work, you know, in television, they never think about that part of it, that it's not just about being glamorous, that it is part of, you know, part of our job is to really help create the feeling within the actor. Okay, everybody just calm down. Um, so sometimes that does come with them being sick, them being beat up. One of the things that we had to do specifically for that particular episode is to take a lot of the color out of the skin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the norovirus uh, epidemic is something that really affects the stomach. We had to help with that by getting, making the skin a little bit gray and just taking the color out of the lips. Uh, if, if someone's sick, the last thing they're going to think about is their hair. So for this episode in particular, we kind of took uh, the lead from makeup. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the, the redness of the eyes and the paleness of the skin. And we just had to think about it with hair. Like if you're sick, you're not gonna take the time. You're gonna try to get yourself well. So most of the time they're gonna kind of pull it back mm -hmm. or tuck it behind their ears or if they have a wig on, they're gonna take it off. That didn't, that didn't happen, <laughs> that but happen that didn't happen. <laughs> it's, it's on the way. Oh. I remember it was like the whole episode was about who would wear what kind of pajamas because they're all too sick to get dressed. It's not the fanciest of stuff, but it should be enough for everyone. If you guys could just slow down and single file. Uh, they were so happy. Our actors were so happy that they could wear pajamas and sweats. So we did a um, good little run. We washed them so the newness and the bright could come out so they can look older than new. Don't tell me you forgot my Diet Coke. I think that the show this season is really taking a nice stand with what's really re being reflected out mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's really exciting to be a part of that. Yeah. You know, so. I just feel like this whole season, the writing staff, we started out talking about we are going to make sure that every department is involved in our storytelling. There's no reason to hire these amazing people and not let them tell stories with whatever their particular skill set is. You know, and that's as important as what we write on the page. Yes. You know, it, it really is. Every part of the process is part of the storytelling process. Yes. All my sisters and brothers.